For a long time, we've relied on our miners to help us keep the lights on. We owe it to them to make sure that they have a safe and healthy workplace. For generations, we've relied on resources like coal, uranium, copper, to fuel our economy, to run electrical generators, to support infrastructure and power, not just manufacturing, but all aspects of our society. We know that the work to extract these resources could be dangerous without good and consistent safety measures in place. Thousands of miners have contracted and died from preventing preventable diseases like black lung and silicosis. Our miners deserve safety and protection in their workplace, just like any other job. Our country, I think, is at the cusp of a, I call it a great transition. We're gearing up for a clean energy economy to help secure energy independence and to address climate change in a pragmatic and real way. As we make this new transition, I think it's an exciting time. These workers are going to be as important, probably more important than they ever have been. We're going to need critical minerals like cobalt and graphite to build electric vehicles to build wind turbines and to support nuclear power. And that's why we're here today to talk about what's needed to best protect our miners both today and in the future.